Dabigatrin atexalate 150 mg oral pellets in packet is used to treat blood clots in the veins of the legs or lungs in infants and children. It helps to reduce the risk of these clots happening again by blocking certain clotting proteins in the blood. It should not be used to prevent blood clots after artificial heart valve replacement. If your child has had heart valve surgery, it's important to talk to the doctor about the best medication for your child. The dosage and timing of taking this medication should be determined by a healthcare professional. Before your child starts taking dabigatrin, it's important to read the medication guide and instructions for use provided by the pharmacist. If you have any questions, be sure to ask the doctor or pharmacist. This medication is usually taken by mouth, with or without food, as directed by the doctor, typically twice daily. For the best effect, it's recommended to give this medication about 12 hours apart, with the first dose in the morning and the second dose in the evening. It's important to give this medication at the same times every day to help remember. The dosage of this medication is based on your child's medical condition, age, weight, response to treatment, and any other medications they may be taking. Make sure to inform the doctor and pharmacist about all the products your child is using. To give this medication without food, you can open the packet and spoon the contents into your child's mouth, offering apple juice as needed to ensure the entire dose is swallowed. The pellets can also be mixed in a cup with a small amount of apple juice, or with certain soft foods like mashed carrots, banana, or applesauce. Make sure to give all of the mixture right away, and do not mix with milk or milk products. It's important to give the medication exactly as directed, without increasing the dose or giving it more often or for longer than prescribed. And it's recommended to give the medication before meals or feedings to ensure your child will take the entire dose. Remember, if only part of the dose is taken, do not give another dose to catch up. Give the next dose at the regular time. This medication may cause easy bruising, minor bleeding, diarrhea, upset stomach, or heartburn. If any of these effects persist or worsen, notify the doctor or pharmacist promptly. It's important to remember that this medication has been prescribed because the doctor has determined that the benefit to your child outweighs the risk of potential side effects. Many people using this medication do not experience serious side effects. However, this medication can cause serious bleeding if it affects the blood clotting proteins too much. Contact the doctor immediately if your child experiences any signs of serious bleeding, such as frequent or persistent nosebleeds, unusual tiredness or weakness, unusual pain or swelling, easy bruising, prolonged bleeding from cuts or gums, heavy or prolonged menstrual flow, pink or dark urine, coughing up blood, vomit that is bloody or looks like coffee grounds, severe headache, dizziness, fainting, or bloody or black stools. Seek medical help right away if your child shows signs of very serious bleeding, including vision changes, confusion, trouble speaking, or weakness on one side of the body. While a serious allergic reaction to this drug is rare, seek medical help immediately if you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, such as rash, itching or swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects. If you notice any other effects, contact the doctor or pharmacist. It is important not to stop giving dabigatrin to your child unless directed by their doctor. Stopping the medication early can increase the risk of your child forming a serious blood clot, such as a stroke or a blood clot in the legs or lungs. The doctor may prescribe a different blood thinning or antiplatelet medication to reduce your child's risk. If your child experiences weakness on one side of the body, trouble speaking, sudden changes in vision, confusion, chest pain, difficulty breathing, or pain-slash-warmth-slash-swelling in the legs, seek medical help immediately. People taking this medication may experience bleeding near the spinal cord after certain spinal procedures. Bleeding in this area can lead to long-lasting or permanent paralysis. Before any spinal procedure, it is important to discuss the benefits and risks with the doctor. The risk of bleeding may be higher if your child has a deformed spine, has had spinal procedures or surgery before, such as epidural catheter placement, difficult epidural-slash-spinal puncture, or is taking other drugs that can cause bleeding-slash-bruising, including antiplatelet drugs such as clopidogrel, blood thinners such as warfarin-slash-anoxaparin, nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs NSADS such as ibuprofen. If you notice symptoms such as back pain, leg numbness-slash-tingling-slash-weakness, or loss of control of the bowels or bladder, 
incontinence, it is important to inform the doctor immediately. Before giving dabigatrin, make sure to tell your child's doctor or pharmacist about any allergies your child may have. This medication may contain inactive ingredients that can cause allergic reactions or other problems, so it's important to discuss this with the pharmacist. Before using this medication, it's important to inform the doctor or pharmacist about your child's medical history, especially if your child has a mechanical heart valve, kidney disease, bleeding problems, blood disorders, liver disease, recent major injury slash surgery, stroke, or a clotting disorder. It's also important to let the doctor or dentist know if your child is taking this medication before any surgical or dental procedures. It's important to be cautious with alcohol while using this medication, as daily use of alcohol may increase the risk for stomach bleeding. It's best to avoid alcoholic beverages while taking this medication. This medication can cause heavy bleeding, so it's important for your child to be cautious with sharp objects and to avoid activities such as contact sports. Your child should use an electric razor when shaving and a soft toothbrush when brushing their teeth. It's also important to contact the doctor right away if your child falls or is injured, especially if your child hits their head. This form of dabigatrin is not usually used by adults and is unlikely to be used during pregnancy or breastfeeding. It's important to consult the doctor if you have any questions about this medication. It's important to be aware that dabigatrin atexylate 150 mg oral pellets in packet may interact with other medications, which could affect how it works or increase the risk of serious side effects. This is not a complete list of all possible drug interactions, so it's crucial to keep a record of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Do not make any changes to your medication dosage without consulting your doctor first. Some products that may interact with dabigatrin atexylate 150 mg oral pellets in packet include mifepristone, other drugs that can cause bleeding or bruising, such as antiplatelet drugs like clopidogrel, NSAIDs like ibuprofen or naproxen, and blood thinners like warfarin or apixaban. It's also important to note that taking aspirin with this medication can increase the risk of bleeding. However, if your doctor has advised you to take aspirin, you should continue to do so unless instructed otherwise. Be sure to ask your doctor or pharmacist for more details. Additionally, there are other medications that can affect how dabigatrin is removed from the body, which may impact its effectiveness. Examples of these medications include cobicistat, cyclosporin, droniterone, ketoconazole, rifampin, St. John's wort, and drugs used to treat seizures, such as carbamazepine and phenytoin, among others. If someone has taken too much dabigatrin atexylate and is experiencing serious symptoms like passing out or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical help. In the U.S., you can call your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. In Canada, residents can contact their provincial poison control center. Symptoms of an overdose may include bloody, black, or tarry stools, pink or dark urine, and unusual or prolonged bleeding. It is important not to share this medication with others. Your child may need to undergo lab and or medical tests, such as kidney slash liver function and clotting times, while taking this medication. It is important to keep all medical and lab appointments and consult the doctor for more details. If a dose is missed, it should be given as soon as remembered. However, if it is less than 6 hours until the next scheduled dose, the missed dose should be skipped and the next dose given at the regular time. It is important not to double the dose to make up for the missed one. When using dabigatrin atexylate 150 mg oral pellets in packet, it's important to store them at room temperature, away from light and moisture. Avoid storing them in the bathroom and keep the packets in the aluminum bag until you are ready to use them. Once you open the aluminum bag, make sure to discard any unused packets after 6 months. It's crucial to keep all medications out of reach of children and pets. When it comes to disposing of this medication, do not flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless instructed to do so. Instead, properly discard the product when it is expired or no longer needed. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance on the proper disposal of this medication. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 
Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.